morning guys and welcome to today's video. It is playtime on the day by day farm for the dogs. Yes, I didn't just let them out. Yeah, they literally just went in the house and then they literally just came back out and they're all wild. Our dogs are wild. There's Daisy the scaredy girl. There's Molly the tree girl. And then there's Ellie the crazy one that doesn't let anybody run. She literally wants to chase all the time. And then look, we just cleaned this whole yard. Molly, but why don't you just rip up this branch <laughs> make a mess <laughs> Allie chill I'm surprised they're just standing there though they're like what's happening now what are we gonna do <laughs> Allie chill Sam is working on our new chicken coop yeah these are the panels I love it this is the panels I made I love it so when are we ready to put it together because Molly no tomorrow really it's nice out it, what do we have to do still? We have to, well, I have to take all the chickens out. I have to. Well, we'll do that, Sophie and I. Put the, uh, uh, the one screen on the one side, just right. to be sure, and then I have to start building. It's gonna take a oh. while, because I have to cut wood. And, but I got the panels, these are the panels. This is the door. This stuff is the door. It's... Is that gonna be hard for us to open? I already put the hinges on the door, so it's already ready. Well, that's a big door, isn't it? Yeah, is that... That's is the that, top. So we have to open that? The is that? Is there going to be enough room to open it? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> Let's take it over there and see. Yeah, might not be enough room, eh? I'm really excited about this chicken coop because the way we have it right now isn't working for us at all. It's literally so cramped in there with that big box in there. I'm just so anxious to get it out of there. Get that big box out of there and move our babies into like a better situation. So, oh, it'll fit. I want this thing out. It's going to be out here. It's going to be this high. It's going to be this high. Oh, it's going to look beautiful. Is it going to open? Yeah, it'll open. Oh, okay, yeah, it'll fit. Uh, that might be in the way, but that's how that's how high it's going to be because that's the second level. All right, that that's awesome. So it's going to have two levels: a, a top level for the small ones and a lower level for the bigger ones. Okay, yeah, fit. All right, so tomorrow it is then, right? Yeah, and then I got this stuff. Yeah. So he put, put chicken stuff. wire. Is that's this the hardware? Dangerous. This is the plastic hardware cloth. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, it's plastic. I just uh, ran out of staple there to staple it more. And then I'm going to do the other side. Do you think raccoons could rip that? Like, I could rip it. They can't get in here anyway. Yeah, I know. So that's the thing about this coop that's so great, is that for the most part, no animals get in here. Like, no raccoons, no animals come in. They can't get in here, so it's like all the proof, all the predator proofing that we did on the outside protects them, but we just want to make it safe on the inside too, just because you never know. Yeah, I love that lavender chicken too. It's so cute. Like that little chick, that little duck is literally the size of our silky chickens. You're like, I don't really want ducks anymore, and then I bring home that duck, and you're like, Yeah, ducks were hard for us because we didn't have a place for them, but miniature ducks, we have a place for them. It's actually later in the day. Sam and I went shopping and got all of our Saturday shopping stuff done, and it's been raining all day. It's literally been raining all day, and I feel like we can't get out, we can't get anything done. It's been boring. We got our house clean though. That's so important to me. I love getting it done on a Saturday so that we can rest. And in Canada, it is a long weekend. Is it a long weekend in America too, Sam? Uh, no, they have July 4th. Oh yeah, you guys have July 4th. It's Canada's birthday on July 1st. The weather has been causing a lot of awful stuff to happen around the farm, like a lot of trees and stuff down. Sam just told me that there's a tree down in the paddock where we're gonna put the horses uh, in the next rotation, sometime at the beginning of the next week or so. I love coming out into the field and just looking at the horses because Storm and his ladies that he takes care of and then Penny and her ladies or uh, Lady and her ladies Penny and Lady and the baby are always together. I heard the pitter patter of hooves They all came running they're like are we coming they want to come into the new field so we're gonna open a new field for them today so this is the tree and it's in the back paddock. And it is 
destroyed from the last storm that we had. And it's right on our fence. Yeah, so we have to... Is there a gate over there? No. Here's the fence. Only little tiny bits of it are on the fence. The big, huge branches, one on that side of the fence and one on this side of the fence. You'd have to hold it with a tractor before you can cut it. Cut this branch off and cut the other one off, then it could fall. It's a lot of wood. So we, have to... so we have to get rid of this before we can let our horses in the pasture. It's literally pouring on us. <laughs> pouring. Anyway, one thing I love about this farm is all the pastures. I love being able to open up a whole new gate every month for our horses. Each pasture lasts them about a month. And we're not even close to being finished yet. And it's July. So last year we moved in July and we had till October. So I'm guessing uh, probably sometime in September, August, September, we'll end up having to supplement their feed, their, their roughage. But for now, they got pastures to go into. And today, we're gonna open up a new one for them. Storm's like, I'm coming. I wanna come there with you. Look, they know. They're like, Storm knows. He's like, I know, you're gonna so open an... He's like, oh, I'm itchy. There is a lot of hay in here, you guys. A lot of grass. I'm terrified. It's up to my waist. Ah! I'm afraid of snakes. I'm the only one who hasn't seen a snake on this property. These are the ones that love me. <laughs> Rosie, where were you digging? You're all dirty. How did that happen? All right. A big field. Sam said he saw them staring over the fence at this field today. The hay is taller than honey. Are you happy? Are you happy, lady? I think they're happy, you guys. nighttime like once once they're done this this field at night when the goats go in I'll put the goats in a little early and we'll let the horses out here and they can eat up all this stuff tell you now if I see a snake I'll be screaming oh baby my friend once told me that if you listen hard enough an animal will tell you its name so like when you buy an animal it'll tell you their name and I was like, yeah, okay, I believe in that stuff, but I've never had that experience ever before. Ever before until I met this little girl. And her name is Toffee. She's Sophie's goat, and Sophie named her, and her name is Toffee. But when I'm with her, I hear Starla. I have no idea why, it just comes to me. Like, in my mind, every time I think of her, she's Starla. I never remember the name Toffee. I just think of Starla. She's Starla. I I've never even heard of that name before, but I know she's Starla. Right? Are you Starla? She's looking for a bottle. I didn't bring one. The last couple of days I slowed down on her milk. I'm only giving them to her twice a day now because she is chonky. She's growing better now. She's strong now. She's doing really, really well. And she is getting super chunky. So I'm going to just see how she does on two bottles a day. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, give me the milk. Another thing I've learned on this journey of horses is that we go out every other day or so, we check the grass, 
but you can tell by watching your horses. You can just tell by watching them, like if they start coming up to the round bale and eating, which they never do, if they start losing conditioning, and I don't mean like a lot of conditioning. I can just notice little changes in conditioning. Like I notice when they look a little puffy and I notice when they look a little less puffy. But also just like Storm today told Sam, I wanna go in another field, like it's time. Plus the last couple of days, they've been breaking out of that field and trying to get into the last pasture down there. So we knew you guys, we knew it was time. They needed a new pasture. But I can't wait until our new little ducks. I can't wait to show them to you guys. I can't wait to bring the new little ducks and I can't wait for them to be ready to be out running around with the chickens. So cute. I got the girls a few more canvases so that they can paint. They have black canvases, you guys. What? You want to go to the movie theater? I want to go to the movie theater. I feel like it. But Sylvia and I are going down to do chores. It's actually 8 o'clock at night and it's so sunny and it's actually warm freezing inside the house with the air conditioning so I have a sweater on it's warm now but anyways going down to do nighttime chores I haven't taken you guys for a while so I decided I'd take you um but nighttime chores are my favorite I'm going to show you guys why so this is all the stuff I bring I bring my bucket to um milk in and I bring a washcloth to wash I bring the baby bottle wait you gotta close it and we bring eggs you're gonna be shocked while we bring eggs ow I can never understand why this goat screams like this. Oh look, the horse has left. Like, I don't understand why he screams. He doesn't like us. He doesn't even know. He doesn't even know why he's screaming. You are noisy. Uh oh. The pig wants in. <laughs> Come on, he says. Uh oh, let's see if I can open his door. And if he knows where he has to go. Let's see. Can he do it? Can he do it? Can he do it? Look at that! He's looking for his food. Oh, so he needs fresh water. So, the reason we bring eggs is because Mia, that's what we named her, who's our little chicken, she eats an egg every day down here. We can't put chicken food down here because it's toxic to goats and our goats will like get into anything. Isn't she so cute? So anyways, we feed her two eggs. We give her an egg in the morning and an egg at night and then she scavenges outside like a chicken does. She eats all the stuff outside. She looks for bugs and she hunts and she eats all that kind of stuff. But she eats an egg twice a day. And when we come, she's so funny. Keep saying she's just like a goat because the goats will come running up to us and be like, it's dinner time. And she will come running right up to us and peck us, gently peck us until we give her, her her dinner. It's like literally the cutest thing ever. She's so sweet. I love this chicken. Sophie has always loved this chicken. But the reason that I love nighttime chores so much is because I do nothing. All I do is milk. So I let the milker in. You gotta stay. You guys gotta stay. Up she goes. The baby comes in too because she's sneaky like that. She sneaks through the door. All I do down at the barn at night is milk. That's all I do. It's so relaxing. It's like the best. I do all the chores in the morning and it's so much work. So at night when Sophie comes down, she does everything and I just milk and it is so relaxing. And then I edit and then I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. I don't know what it is. The last couple of days, I've been going to bed at like eight o'clock, sleeping in. I slept in today, never sleep in. But there's Sophie doing her chores. Uh, we bring a whole carton of eggs down and we put them in the fridge down here so that we can feed the chicken. And that's a wrap, you guys. That is a wrap for today. I can't believe the horses left their nice luscious field <laughs> to go back up to their old field where there's no grass but i guess maybe they're going to get a drink anyway that is it we'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning thanks for watching don't you know that you're beautiful